Well, over the last uh, several weeks, I've been getting a lot of requests uh, to show how I prepare morel mushrooms, primarily from a couple of people that have repeatedly asked me, one named Andy and the other named Steve. So if you guys are watching this, I hope you get something out of it. And being that the name of my channel is Dave's Outdoor Channel, I thought I should uh, do a video on cooking these mushrooms outdoors. So here we go. I'm going to go to my campsite on my own property here and we're going to set up and see what we can come up with here. So I come out here a little bit earlier and I set up a little makeshift kitchen, brought my camp stove and propane table and uh, stuff that I need. So um, got a skillet which I've already seasoned little cast iron skillet I like cooking with cast iron uh, better than anything else let's see what else I got here in this ice chest all right what do we got here so I've got a small bag of mushrooms here nice ones just found these yesterday I soaked them overnight in salt water and uh, bag those up today that'll be enough for a lunch here and i've mixed up a bag of batter here <clears throat> and i like to keep it simple flour with a little bit of yellow cornmeal and salt and pepper that's my favorite seasoning i like i said i like to keep it simple uh, you guys that prepare morels i'm sure you have a lot of different ways to to do in this um, personally i like to uh, uh, fry them in butter or margarine uh, i've got a uh, stick of margarine right here and if you just use the margarine uh, by itself um, it will go through it really quick so what i do is um, i melt down the margarine and mix it with a little bit of vegetable oil and that makes it last uh, and go on and you don't sacrifice that uh, buttery flavor when you uh when you mix that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you how i uh how i cut the mushrooms up and uh how i batter them i'm going to use a shaking uh bake method right here now I'll just uh, cut the mushrooms up and put them in that bag of uh of um batter that i've made and just shake them up from there so okay so the first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to take these mushrooms and rails and i'm going to cut them in half so I'm going to take this knife here and go right down the middle. And this is a good time to show you the difference between a uh, morel and a false morel. See this right here? The, uh, an actual morel, if you cut them in half, they are hollow in the middle there. A false morel, you cut them in half, they are not hollow. So if it's a morel, it's going to be hollow like this. Now, I'm going to uh, cut this one more time through the middle. That way it'll cook, cook better. Get that one out of the way. And we're going to get this one here and cut it right down the middle as well. There again, hollow. I'm going to get that like so. Okay. And here's a nice one here. We're going to cut that right down the middle also that and there's a gray one the other ones have been gold I'm gonna do that right down center again to help it cook faster now here's a little one just a little bite size one do it the same way and in my experience and again different people I'm sure uh, if you've been uh, eating morels and for a while you may have your own way of preparing them and man that's just a nice that's a nice golden morel right there look at that that's going to be good so um, cut that right down the middle as well i'm going to cut that in the middle again and do the same for this all right so 
now we've got plate of morels ready to put batter on and put them in the skillet and this is going to be my lunch okay so now what i'm going to do i've got the mushrooms sliced up ready to put in the skillet so now what i'm going to do is uh put the uh margarine and the vegetable oil uh, in the skillet and start getting it all melted and heated up and ready to uh, batter the uh, morels and put them in there. So we'll see what happens. I think this is going to be a really good lunch. All right, so let's get this turned on and lit up. You know, there's just something about cooking at camp that seems to make everything taste better. Now I got that skillet, got the fire going under it. And now I'm gonna put the stick of margarine in there first. Let that get to get to heating up. Let it all swirl around. You may not need any vegetable oil, but that's sliced up and Don't need that up that high. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the mushrooms in this batter. Get them all shook up. And then we'll start to put them in the skillet. Get that up. So, this is the easiest way to get the get the batter on these things. Okay. Now, that's the thing about being outside is uh, the ground's not always the most level, <laughs> but this will do. All right, let's start to put some mushrooms in the in the skillet. Now, let's start putting the mushrooms in there. Spread them around in there real good. So you all may have different uh, techniques and recipes you use. Um, this is mine and um, I have good luck with it. I'm gonna add a little vegetable oil here. Absorb that butter. All right, and there they are sizzling in the, sizzling in the margarine and uh, vegetable oil. Tell you what, all we got to do now is uh, wait for them to get done. I'll turn them a little as we go. It'll probably take about, you no know, cooking over this here. I'm kind of slow, slow frying them here, put it that way. That way it'll cook, they'll cook all the way through good. Just move them a little bit once in a while, keep them, make sure they're not sticking to the pan. This is going to be a good lunch right here. I can't wait. This is the first time I've cooked them out in the out like this. You know, one thing about a cooking them out here, the kitchen's a lot easier to clean up. So. Okay, so these are really starting to turn brown. These are looking good. See how they're turning that golden brown like that? They will be ready to eat in just a little bit. Let's get that other side browned up too man they say if you ever never tried morels don't know what you're missing they are seriously good stuff and they are the easiest to identify um, wild mushroom that's safe to eat um, now some people may have allergies to certain mushrooms like a 
My son, he can't even, he can't eat any kind of mushroom. He has an allergy to them, which I feel bad about that because these are just so good. In fact, some of these, that right there, that one right there is ready to eat right now. So, I'll put that in the plate. And when I'm cooking them, and they're the big fat pieces like that, what I like to do is kind of mash them down a little bit. That gets them cooked all the way through. Now these these smaller mushrooms, they will uh, they'll get done a lot quicker. So you want to get them out. And that one's done. You know, it just depends on how well done you like them. I like them. I like them crisp. You may like them a little soggy. Preference that one's done. However, however you want to look at it, that golden, golden brown like that. And we're gonna have us a nice lunch back here. You guys have anything? Uh, Y'all want to share how you uh, prepare your morels? Maybe different than me. Uh, share them in the comments. I'd like to see them. Cause this this is just this is just my way of doing it. I like them this way, and you may like them different. Yeah, look at that. Man, it looks good. But I've seen people prepare them a lot of different ways. I'm just I'm a kind of guy. If I find a way, I like them. <laughs> I don't ever change it. Well, I'm just one of these, if it's not broken, don't fix it uh, type of people. And we're just about through here. Look at that. That is good looking morale right there. Wish y'all could be here to help me eat these. But I'm going to enjoy them. They are pretty much done now. Even the big thick ones are pretty much cooked through. They are finished. They are done. Okay, what I like to do uh, right after they're cooked, that's a nice looking mess of mushrooms there. I like to put them in a paper towel, fold them half over, flip them like that to absorb the most of the grease out of it. And then, that's what we got right there. Now, I know it's probably a mean thing to do, but I'm going to let y'all watch me eat these. I'm going to sit down on this ice chest right here and enjoy these morels. See, these are good. Delicious. Very good. Well, I hope y'all have enjoyed uh, watching me prepare these uh, morel mushrooms. Uh, this is the way I like them. Just uh, butter and vegetable oil battered in um, flour and cornmeal. The only uh, spices I'm using is salt and pepper. That's, that's what I like. Uh, if any of y'all have any uh, ways that you like to prepare your morels that you want to share, put it in the comments. I'd like to read it. Um, but anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop talking and eat these morels for lunch and uh, hope y'all have enjoyed it um, so that being said until next time you guys take care and if you get a chance go outside and enjoy nature